Welcome back to another solar video. In today's video, I'd like to do a little experiment using this tiny solar panel, a mini panel. Radio Shack used to sell these and I picked them up when the stores were going out of business. I think I only paid around 50 cents a piece. It was like 80% off. I did purchase a bunch of them, so I do not mind destroying this during the test. What I'd like to do is first take a look at the power output for this panel. We're going to take a look at open circuit voltage. We're going to take a look at short circuit current. Once I do that, then I want to take a Fresnel lens, this is a Fresnel magnifying lens, and position the panel in such a way that the light is going to be concentrated over the entire surface of this panel and see what kind of an effect the increased light exposure has on power output. We're going to be taking light readings using this lux meter and we're also going to take temperature readings off this panel. Okay, let's get started. The mini solar panel is pointing directly at the sun and it's at the correct angle. Let's take a lux reading. And as you can see, we're right around 76,000 lux. Now let's take a voltage reading. And we're at 4.74. Let's move this over to milliamps. All right, so we're looking at right around 85 milliamps of current from this panel at 76,000 lux. The next thing I want to do is take the Fresnel lens and I got to figure out where to position it to have enough light focus on the entire panel. I want to make sure that it's going to cover from end to end. I don't want a concentration of light in the center or off to the side. It needs to cover the entire panel for this test. This panel is a smaller panel. It only measures two inches by four inches or 50 millimeters by 100. But as you can see, each one of the cells that are connected in series have spaces between them. So in reality, this would probably be only about that big, not as long as it is. Okay, let's take a quick temperature reading of the panel. That's 50 C or 121.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, let me put some sort of a frame together for this panel and we'll be right back. This is what I came up with. And it's going to do the job perfectly I have these two rails. The distance is just right from the back of that Fresnel lens all the way down to these rails. All I'm going to do is take the solar panel, position it, stick it down, and then we're going to see what kind of power output we can get using this lens and this panel. And right there should be pretty good. Okay. Now I'm going to take this and position it perpendicular to the sun and then we're going to take short circuit current, open circuit voltage and we're going to see if we can actually use this panel now as a USB charging panel due to the increased light. And that looks uh, right there looks pretty good. Let's take a look at the voltage. And we're 4.9291. And as you can see, as that's heating up, just like any other solar panel, voltage will start to drop. All right, so let's take a look at the short circuit current now. Let's go all the way over to here. Wow, 380 milliamps now. So before it was only 85, now we're almost five times as much current. Current is holding steady. Let's go back to the voltage again. Push it back to here and see what's going on with that. And we're going lower, 4.56. And you can see the voltage still going down. Let's measure light intensity. 118,800 lux. And look at that voltage continuing to go lower. Let's go back to the current again. Let's see if that's holding steady and still around 380 milliamps 
and put it back to voltage. Let's take a temperature reading now of the solar panel. 206 or 97C. So that thing is pretty hot. Appears to have leveled off right about there. So if we were able to take this panel, place it in water to keep it nice and cool, and then use the setup we have here, the voltage here would be higher and we would still have the higher current output. So it's an interesting little experiment just to see what could be done with one of these panels, but it also demonstrates how heat lowers the output voltage of the panel. And right here is a look at that panel after that demonstration. Just a little bubble underneath there, another one over here. With the exception of that, it seems to be intact. I don't feel any delamination. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to rate thumbs up share and check out my extensive video playlist for many other videos of interest to you.